about to board. Just left the lounge and I'm going back to New York. I'll be on a long flight. I try to usually wear comfortable clothing on the plane. I literally never understand how people wear like jeans and like dress up on planes. Like I can't think of anything worse. So I'm wearing yoga pants that are comfortable and tight. Better for circulation and a comfy hoodie. Yes, I'm that person that takes her shoes off on the plane. <laughs> you cozy? The first thing that I do when I get on a plane is I use disinfecting wipes and I wipe down everything around me. The remote, the seatbelt, the TV, my seat, everything. Flights can be really dirty due to the high volume of people using them. So many planes don't get thoroughly cleaned between services, which means that the dirt and the germs from other passengers can be left behind. Next, I'm going to put my hair up and I usually sleep with my hair up and I travel with my hair up so that the oils from my hair don't get onto my skin and I wash my skin as my first step. I know, I know, I'm a huge advocate on not using face wipes because they're not the best for your skin, but since we're on a plane and I don't have many options, that's what I'm gonna use today. After cleansing, I'm going to follow by using Chanel's Hydro Beauty Essence Mist, which is a hydration protection radiance energizing mist. Next, I'm going to eat two gummies from Hum Glow Sweet Glow, which are full of hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, which locks moisture into your skin and boosts hydration. And it also keeps the skin plump, glowing, and it stimulates collagen production. Next, I'm gonna use one pump of the Christine Chin Cell Gold Toner. And it's really good for refreshing, energizing, and smoothing the skin. And it's great for the next step of your skincare process. These are supplements from a brand called Holodermie, which is a French brand that I'm currently obsessing over. And I did a customized profile where I typed in my needs for my overall health and skincare. And I included my travels and how hydration is very important for me so this pack of supplements is full of omega-3s vitamin c and e and collagen which is great for hydrating especially during a flight now i'm the biggest fan of eye creams and there's a lot of great ones out there on the market from different brands but since i'm flying and hydration is the biggest factor today i'm going to be using sk2's rna power eye cream which is really good for moisturizing increasing suppleness and also reducing the appearance of fine line because of dryness okay so this is a major hydration boost and this is going to save my skin for this flight I'm going to mix the Holodermy Hydration Concentrate with a few drops of 111 Skin's Cryo ATP Booster. And this is amazing because ATP is a natural cellular energy and it encourages oxygen to your overall cell function of your skin, which will leave your skin tightened, toned, and it will refine your overall complexion. And it basically just really helps your skin become more fresh and hydrated. I also always like traveling with hand cream and it's really good on flights because your nails and your cuticles can become very dry and break easily. I'm also going to use Cow Shed's cuticle oil because I get the worst cuticles and when I travel, they only get worse. So this really helps again with just keeping the nails hydrated. Now, most importantly, lip care. I'm going to use Chanel's Hydro Beauty Lip Balm to make sure that my lips are moisturized so when I land, I don't have dry, cracked lips. I have found that it's not the best. It works well, but there are definitely ones on the market that work better. But since it was a free sample and it's in my bag, I'm going to use it. Okay, if you guys haven't noticed already, I have gone to the Chanel Spa during this trip. So I have many samples that I'm trying out and I really love this one so far. It's the Hydra Beauty Rich Cream and it's really good for moisture and just the overall texture of the skin. And I have found that it just leaves my skin really radiant and glowy and moisturized. Last but not least, I'm going to use 111 Skin Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Mask which I love all of their masks and eye masks, but I think for flying, this one works the best for me. And it's really good just because when I land, I typically have very puffy eyes. So this one works really great and I highly, highly recommend. 
Also, if you are at home and using it, I strongly advise putting it in the fridge because I think it just speeds up the process with cooling the eyes down and really helping with puffiness. And voila, my skin is cleansed and moisturized to the utmost and definitely prepared for this long flight. <laughs> Just landed in New York, feeling fresh. I slept literally the entire time. Over seven and a half hours, I basically felt like I slept the entire day and I cannot tell you how much better I feel. Just need a coffee and I'm good. I feel rested, my skin still feels moisturized. Usually can sometimes feel like super dry when I land if I don't do the routine that I did, but I feel moisturized, I feel rested. So I just wanted to show you guys my routine. Comment below if you have any tips and tricks that I missed out on. Thanks for tuning in.